I, I left Canada on the 10th of February 2009 and uh, landed uh, in Edmonton again on the 24th of uh, November 2009, so about nine and a half months. And where were you serving? I was serving right on Kandahar Airfield. Okay, and, do, and what were you doing? Uh, my job was the adjutant of the signal squadron, so uh, in a nutshell, my, my job was the day-to-day -day administration of the running of the unit. It enabled the, uh, the commanding officer to concentrate on, on the bigger aspects, so I did uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the admin. Uh, we, you know, I do, uh, uh, if we had any casualties, I'd take care of those, those guys from the administrative side and, and get uh, replacements brought in. Uh, if there was any problems at home with the guys, you know, we would try to sort out those issues. So we didn't have to send guys home, you know, things of that nature. Have you ever served overseas before? Yeah, I did a tour in uh, Bosnia in, uh, in sorry, 2003, six months. And how did this compare to that experience? Very different experience. Uh, the Bosnia was, it was a peacekeeping mission and this was a combat mission. So very different, uh, very different rules of engagement, uh, very different mindsets. And of course the dangers in Afghanistan were a lot higher than they were in Bosnia. Is there anything that, that stands out of your, from your nine months in Afghanistan? Is there any uh, single moment or experience that's... Uh, uh, I'd have to say probably uh, uh, probably the next of kin uh, ceremonies. What they do is uh, uh, for fallen soldiers now is they'll bring uh, small groups of, of the families of the fallen and they'll do a little uh, memorial service um, and, and they'll do a little tour of the base and, and things like that. It's it's very hard to see because every, every soldier can can see their family being in, in their pos in, in that position. Uh, so in that way, it's it's very tough to to go through those ceremonies. But it's it's great what they're doing. Are you happy to be home? Uh, happy to be home, but also happy that I, I did my part and served my country.